<laughs> Hello, it's J Dog John Carstrom. We're here in between the rainstorms. Um, let's say a special hello, of course, to Sharon Barbie. Sharon, I just have to say, great work on that pumpkin. And you can check it out, guys, on our Facebook page. Check her creation out. Uh, say hello also to Susan Tinglestad. Hi Susan. And why don't we do Lori Tennant as well. So hi guys, welcome to the show. Hope you always find something useful, of course. Hey, this today is Science Project Day. Yes it is. Um, I just wanted to stop and explain because I think this year our fall colors have been outstanding. Standing. Don't you think so? Uh, we really have had a great show on the leaves. And uh, what I want to do is explain why in the world. Because you're driving down the road and you have the kids in the back and, and the smart one will ask, or the curious one, should I say, will ask, why do those leaves change color? So I just want to kind of give you a quick explanation to help you out on how to explain to this child. So anyway, leaves normally are green. So this is a birch tree, hasn't yet uh, changed colors, normally are green. That's because of the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll by far the biggest pigment in, in the leaf, at, I mean deciduous leaf should I say. And throughout the year it produces chlorophyll and chlorophyll gets um, uh, gets wasted away and produces more chlorophyll. But what happens is there's a bunch of cells that, that tie up. What's so funny? What? Okay, uh, anyway, um, the bunch of cells tie up uh, right at the stem of the, of the, right at the base of the stem, should I say, starts to clog it up, veins start to close. And why does this happen? It's because of day length. We get long, uh, shorter days, longer nights, it kicks in, leaves start to close down. What happens then is that chlorophyll starts to die back. And, and what we get instead are some of the other pigments in the leaf that are always present, by the way. So the yellows, oranges, browns, those are the carotenoids. They're sitting, they're in the leaf. They really start to show because the chlorophyll starts to die back. So that's why we get the yellows, the goldens, the browns. That's why, by the way, bananas are yellow. Daffodils are yellow it's because lots and lots of carotenoids in their leaves. So anyway, that's that. But what, what happens when leaves turn red? There's a special story on that guy. So when leaves turn red, and by the way, fall color has to do not only with day length, but also warm, uh, let's say bright sunny days and cool nights really makes a difference. Makes the, makes the, the leaves really come to, to, to well, to shine. So uh, a red, the red ones are the anthocyanins. And that what happens is while the leaf is still producing sugars and carbohydrates, remember those cells that are clogging up the uh, veins here? Well, all those sugars are left in the leaf and that is the anthocyanins. And that's why particular varieties have more sugars than others. And that's why particular varieties are more red than, than others. So. So pick out your tree, by the way, on that leaf color because um, some leaves just are more red and some are more go oh, uh, yellows and oranges. Anyway, that is the quick lowdown for that child and for the curious of the gardeners. Here is your quote for the day. Dreaming permits each and every one of us to be quietly and safely insane every night of our lives. Thank you very much, William DeMint. That's the show, guys. Always live your passion.